Welcome to the Drawfee Show, where we take your dumb suggestions and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Welcome, welcome, friends. Uh, today we have a very special suggestion, um, but they're all special, honestly. This one is from uh, Danny Hanna from our channel, uh, youtube.com backslash Drawfee. Ooh, what a good uh, channel. Yeah, it's a great channel. My fave, my personal fave. <laughs> top, top ten. Top for ten, me at least. Top, Caldwell's top ten mm-hmm. channel boy channels. It's, uh, I think it's like, I would say it's, um, you know, number... Nine, uh, right below, um, you know, like uh, Stephen Stephen Dregs, uh, Minecraft Follies is a great one. Oh my God, love um, that! Yeah, uh, Corkscrew Pete's um, Minecraft uh, embarrassments, and uh, and you know, makeup tutorial by Smarg. Uh, Those are just a couple, just to name a few. My, Minecraft makeup tutorial. Exactly. Yeah. You know, how to how to get that how to, how to get that smoky creeper look that you've been they've been trying to perfect. Uh, so, so we are drawing the best beard. The best as suggested beard. by Danny Hanna. Danny Hanna Danny. wants us to draw the best beard. Mm-hmm. Now, Nathan, you're a. I'm a bit of a beard. You're a, beard a beard man. haver. A I'm, beard enthusiast. You you uh, you've been known to equip a beard. I've been known to to have beards mm-hmm. from time to time. Here's a fun mm-hmm. here's a fun fact about beards. What's that? Um, you know, sometimes people come up to me. They're like, "Hey, Nathan, I uh, see so you're working on that beard there. You're nice. You're just growing growing that beard out." And I that, do this that, to you at least that, once a day. That just here's a secret. Mm-hmm. That just happens. Yeah. If you don't shave, uh huh, hair will just grow. It is like on your face. Mm-hmm. It's like a really, it's like a pet that you don't have to feed. Yeah, I, I mean, mean you g- can feed it, mm-hmm. and that adds <laughs> that adds seasoning. Uh huh. Like when you feed it, like I uh, you you give it a little olive oil for like you know give it a little shine, a little luster. Yes, mm, I would recommend that always. Um, and always you, oil your beard, and you do actually put seeds in it to attract birds. Yes, and, and, and squirrels. If birds uh, mm. nest in your beard, yeah. you've reached uh, an excellent level. You know what? Let's just let's just put you a little put a little, put a little bird put in a little, there. Put a little bird's nest. Get a little, bo- uh, get a little Bob Rossi on it. Have some happy birds in there. Have some, have some happy birds. I like this a lot. Um, what's the what's the coolest thing that's ever lived in your beard? Um, me. <laughs> you guys really deep, man. You get your beard. You get your beard nice and. Bushy, uh-huh. and then you just sort of nestle in there. You build yourself like a um, a face based sleeping bag. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. Cole was like, "Where's Nathan today?" Uh-huh. And then I just I sort of emerge, just emerge from the beard. Oh, I you know I wasn't I was I was worried that Nathan was not here. I was not worried, however, about this giant pile of hair uh, that is in Nathan's chair. I was not worried about that in the slightest. But Nathan's absence was troubling me deeply. <laughs> All right, Have so, you ever had like a like a vole or like a like a mink in there? You know, uh, the, the, those are a couple of my goals. Mm-hmm. I have a I have a vole. You got some vole goals. <laughs> I got a vole goal. For, Who uh, doesn't though? <laughs> for 2015. It's 2015, man. I have vole goals, but they're like more you know to to have like a vole like living in my house, like you know basically having like a parallel storyline to my life. Oh sure. You know what I'm saying. Like if I'm like ah, I'm up com- for the big promotion, like the vol is up for like a big promotion, a big and, like, a big vol promotion, yeah, yeah. In uh, in <laughs> that that vol itself has vol goals. All right, mm-hmm. so uh, I've sort of started this beard, yeah, but uh, you know, I, I'm I'm just sort of letting it um letting it branch. I see. Got some like some lip lip here. This is a beautiful lip action beard. here. Mm-hmm. You know, you want you want to have the nice beard stash combo. Yes, you can get some of. The- you don't want you do not want that. Uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, stashless beard, which I will say is the type of beard that I grow. It's really awful. It's like I get a great thick, um, you just get donut. under <laughs> the under donut. Uh huh. I mean, that's a look. I no, get, don't let anyone mm, beard shame you, dude. I get that. You know, it, I beard all, shame all myself. All beards, all, all beards are beautiful in mm. their own way. Hey, let me just the little even even neck beards. Little piece of advice: don't let anyone shame you except yourself. And you should you should heavily shame yourself. Like just be constantly aware of your failings. I think that's like a cool tip for for the for the the twenty fifth. Yep. And you know if you ever want to be uh, mm-hmm. more aware of your failings, yeah, uh, make a YouTube show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people will tell you. Just like make content from the internet, and people will point them out. All right. Let me get a little. I just want to thicken that up. Oh yeah. These get sh- get that undershadow. I just feel like this guy was could be more sagacious. 
Sure. Uh huh. I mean, always. Yeah. That's the first step for having a good beard. Like, yeah. be already be kind of wise. It is gonna up your sagacity and uh, and learn and learned. Mm-hmm. Lear- I wish learned learned learned. There's so many there's so many positive words that we do not use, uh, you know, to compliment people in our society enough. Sure. Um, this is actually I'm gonna like curve it under. I okay. Think. Um, it's actually like. His beard has become so powerful yeah. that it is mandibles. Ooh. Yeah. He's got like some big like uh That's useful for mm-hmm. like uh like eating pistachios. Yeah, um like pistachios or like a human head. Right. Mm-hmm. P- human heads are like um are like pistachios for cannibals. <laughs> it's true. Um they're <laughs> easy to crack. They're you know they're and there's they're, some they're green stuff in there, I'll bet. There's some green stuff in there mm-hmm. and um, a lot of protein. Yeah, yeah. Make a good make a good ice cream if you. Know, you uh, they haven't done uh, any ad campaigns for mm-hmm. human heads uh, no. featuring featuring Psy. <laughs> Remember Psy? How could I forget Psy? I mean, it's 2015. Mm-hmm. Psy has has yet to make an internet sensation album for for this. Uh, I mean, song I album al- has he I'm made not, an album? I can't I I can't hit on Psy, man. Don't don't make me do that. Don't um, make me hate not, on Korean I'm not, sensation, Sai. I'm, I'm not hating on Sai. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on Sai. That's true. To, you know, to blow it up. To blow it up big time in 2015? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I think he's going to have, like, a hit where he talks about, like, um, well, the thing <laughs> the thing about, like, K-pop songs is they're always, like, they have very strange themes. Like, that one was about, like. Well, that wasn't, that, that was more of a, a K, K-pop than, mm-hmm. hip, than hip-hop. That's what I said. I said K-pop. Oh. But anyway, I think I'm, it'll be. Uh, I just misheard you. It'll be a song about like okay. trying to buy a bicycle Got for beards, a reasonable price. Beards in my ears. Yeah, it's the songs are always like they they have like weird like economic uh, perspective baked into them, which I like. That's good. Mm-hmm. You know, it, in this mm-hmm. in this economy. Yeah, like this song, "Motherfucking Gentleman," is um, it's about uh, you know the pres the presidential race. Not not the Korean one, ours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's about Al Gore. It's a <laughs> came out He's, a little. He, he wrote it when Al Gore was running. Yeah, and then but it didn't really get traction mm-hmm. until more recently. I'm gonna just add some. Um, so this is a, a, a cool thing mm-hmm. that will happen in your beard if you let it if you let it grow for long enough. Is it will grow eyes? Right. Mm-hmm. The the beard uh, is is a, mm-hmm. a symbiotic relationship yeah. with with humans. Uh, a lot of people try and try and shave it, mm-hmm. um, you know, for for appearances to yeah. appear um, clean Dude, and, and clean. hygienic, devoid of parasites, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, desirable mm-hmm. to uh, Im- employable even. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you just if you just let that sucker grow, yeah, you you, you might make mm-hmm. a friend. Well, it's like yeah. You know, it's like how, um, like our our lifespan is, uh, like our our evolutionary capability is limited by our lifespan. Right. You know, like if we you know live for like four hundred years, who knows what would happen? Maybe we would like you know, uh, well we get super old, but you'd also like maybe yeah like you'd I, we do grow a tail or something. <laughs> right. That's that's the real <laughs> yeah, science. Yeah. You, you might. That's you, the real science. Take that you, to the bank. Put it in a safety deposit right box. Right around, right around like three hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The tail just starts. Like, oh dang. Like, oh. Oh. Now call my grand. Call my great grands, cause I got a tail now. I gotta buff. Mm-hmm. I gotta buff this down. All right. Uh, do you wanna? Do you wanna like maybe hop back in here and uh, finish this bad boy off? Sure. I'm gonna give him some. Uh, I'm gonna notice. I'm gonna like call you out. I'm gonna put you on blast right, real quick. Uh, you didn't draw any pupes. Well, I knew you would. All right, that's true. I do. I'm a. I'm. I'm a big you know, fan I, of pubes. I just wanted mm-hmm. to get right into the beard there, you know, because I'm a. I always got to get that that pube scoop. That's kind of like my my deal. That's my thing. All right, why don't you why don't you hop back in and um yeah let's you know let's um let's see what you can do here. Okay. I like to think that the bird is sustaining the, the beard. Though. The bird yeah. is is just like a cool uh-huh. fun bonus. It's so small. It it's, will get eaten. It's the smallest mm-hmm. bird. I or maybe it's just a giant head. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this is like some. I like. I like accidentally drew some sort of weird, like Lorax, like monster. He's got like. He's, mm. It looks like it's in pain. <laughs> I don't think it's happy. I think that it like desperately wishes to escape. All right. Well, ooh, okay, that's a hand there. Hold on. Let me. Uh... <laughs> you gonna try and do a little more accurate of a hand? No. I'm, <laughs> Certainly I'm not. I'm just gonna here. Here we go. Okay. 
Oh, is he... Is he feeding it? I, I should just wait. I should be patient. You should be patient, Caldwell. Mm. Patience is a virtue. What do you think that that beard uh, sounds like when it talks? Can it talk? Yeah, it probably sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that it sounds a little more, a little more polite. Like, um, hi, like, hello, oh, 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 who are you speaking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matthew's beard. You might know me as the thing growing on Matthew's face. Could you get that bird for me? That bird is slightly out of my reach as I have no arms. I will grow them eventually. Evolution is a tricky thing. <laughs> I eat the food that falls out of Matthew's mouth. And then I cook him up. I, I, I cook it up. Mm -hmm. I cook it up. Yeah. I control his brain now. See, I want... It's like a really weird version <sighs> of Ratatouille. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I'm going for. It's okay, like a, yeah. it's like a Ratatouille yeah. sort of thing. Except mm -hmm. um, the beard has... These are These are like beard arms. Oh, okay. Oh, great. <laughs> like, his, I his real say, arms are just, like, have, like, atrophied almost. Sure. Oh, so, like, yeah, I like to think, yeah, you, you can't really see it, but in the background, like, this guy's got, like, really weak arms and, like, really weak legs. Uh, this, I feel like, eventually he will become 100% beard, which is the goal of humanity, I think. It's the only way we'll survive. But I like to think this beard is, like... Real, mm -hmm. like, real gourmet. Do you think that this, like, just, like, mm -hmm. loves, loves seasoning foods? Yeah. Loves, oh, man. loves little, cooking food. Yeah, cayenne pep. It's a, it's, it's a, it's like a, a seasoning salt mix. Ooh. It's like he's mm -hmm. made his own blend of seasonings, and he's making some fajitas. You know, Matthew is deathly allergic to cumin, but I simply don't care. What's the beard's name? The beard? Mm -hmm. Um, Aldous. That's a great beard name, man. What's your beard's name? My beard's name? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have to rename it because I do shave from oh, time to time. Oh, so it's like a rebirth. Every cycle? every new mm -hmm. beard is yeah. a, is a. Sometimes you know they'll be like mm -hmm. the second or the third. Yeah. Okay. So sort, what, of, sort of like <clears throat> kings. What did, what uh, which beard did you most recently send to the grave? Can I name it? Uh, can I name your new beard? You can name the one after this one. The one after this one. What's the current one's name then? This is Humphrey. Humphrey. Okay, that's good. That's a good name. Thank you. Uh, I feel like the next one should be. Uh, Swarth. Ooh, we just call it Swarth. I like Swarth. Yeah, or like Swarth Master, so, like Swarth. Yeah, maybe just like yeah, Swarthy Pete. Maybe. I thought maybe that's a little too little too on the nose, but like a beard is on your nose a little bit. Yes, so I, think I think a beard a beard mm. name should be on the nose. Okay, so Swarthy Pete, I think is what we're gonna go with. Um, and it's like you, if you spelled it out, it'd be spelled out like you know Swarth E Pete. Yes. Which is also the name of my... Like Chuck, my, like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it's the name of my failed Chuck E. Cheese competitor. <laughs> Swarthy Pete. Swarthy Pete. Mm. You yeah, know, it's, it's, it's never mm. too late. You know, it's not it's not a failure yet. Oh, home of the hairy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, can, I, can I add in, like, one, yeah, one extra detail? Yeah, oh, like absolutely. Are there some scallions cooking up in there? There's some onions. There's oh, some, I mean, man. he's making some fajitas. He's, oh, yeah. He's got, he's got some peps. He's got some onions. He's, he's seasoning it with his special blend. I'm of, just going to add a little... I'm going to, like, make this just a little... Creepier. Let's okay. give him a little tongue. Let's get little little hair tongue. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, mm -hmm. That's that's one thing. Is mm -hmm. like <laughs> I I always need to shave yeah. my beard mm -hmm. when it starts getting in the way of yeah. of being able to eat soup. That's what. See, so you're you're denying your beard. This is the beard that you could have, man. You could you could have a dream beard. Well, I I've never let it get this big, but uh -huh. I I hope someday my beard will cook delicious fajitas for me. <laughs> While your limbs slowly die. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the, the dream. The goal is to have uh -huh. autonomous mm -hmm. hair limbs. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. add like some like, uh, if you don't mind, I just want to make this like even more apparent that he is like really in dire straits down here. Oh yeah, he's just like really skinny. He's real skinny mm -hmm. because like the, the first thing that the beard the will beard eat eats the yeah. majority of the fajita yeah. for itself, and then you get sort of the scraps. Yeah, and the first thing the beard's gonna eat is your clothes. So he's like he's full naked down there. Right. He's fully naked. All right, I think. I think we can put a put a lid on this one. But the, I mean, that's a beard. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You, that's a beard. Hey, that's a beard. Mm -hmm. When when your beard starts getting eyes, you mm -hmm. know, one eye, that's pretty cool. Two mm -hmm. eyes, that's that's great. Three you, eyes. Three eyes. Oh man, now I can see the future. <laughs>
<laughs> and the future is good. Well, guys, that's been our show. Um, please subscribe to our channel, youtube.com backslash Joffy, uh, for more vids like this. Um, put su your suggestions in the comments. Uh, sometimes we take them from here, sometimes we take them from our channel. Depends on what we got. Um, and how we're feeling. How we're feeling. Uh, I go, hope you guys have a great week. And, and a great new year. A great new year, and we are very, very sorry. Hey, I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Uh, thank you guys for watching our video. If you want to subscribe to the Drawfee channel, please click here. Uh, and if you want to watch more videos on this channel, you can click right here. Uh, and if you want to stop this whole miserable charade, just click that little X in the corner. Thanks for watching. We're sorry.